Welcome to TICON TV. Today we will be setting up our RPDC 12-9-10. This system comes complete with everything you need to power your equipment minus the pole. That includes the solar panel, battery, enclosure, charge controller, required cabling, and mounting hardware. This system will provide up to 2.5 watts continuous power output with 6 hours peak sunlight. To find your sun hours, click the link in the description below. The first thing we'll do is attach the mount to the solar panel. Loosen the bolts, slide the bracket in the center of the panel, and tighten the bolts. Make sure both sides are secure. Next we will loosen the hose clamps and insert them into the holes in the solar mount. It helps to bend the end of the hose clamp slightly to help with the installation. These will fit a 2 to 6 inch diameter pole. Take the cover off the junction box and unscrew the metal bracket on the back of the solar panel, setting them aside for the next step. Now unscrew the two screws so the wire will fit underneath. Take the wire, bending them slightly to wrap around the screws. Tighten down the screws, make sure to observe polarity. Put the cable through the opening, put the metal bracket back and screw it in tightly, ensuring your cable stays in place. Snap the junction box cover back into place. Now tighten the bolts and cut off the excess hose clamp tails. Connect the positive wire to the battery. Place the battery and the battery plate in the enclosure and secure with the provided screws. Ensure the battery connections are facing the solar controller so the wire reaches. Install the screws to hold the plate. Connect the battery cable from the battery to the solar controller battery terminals. Make sure to observe polarity. The black wire will connect to the negative terminal. Place Velcro strips on the back of the solar controller. Remove plastic to expose adhesive and attach firmly to the door. Be sure it's located so it clears the battery when the lid is closed. Connect the negative wire to the battery. The display on the controller will turn on. Install the cable feed through into the center hole on the bottom of the enclosure.
Use the additional feed through and plugs to seal the remaining holes. Close the enclosure and tighten one of the corner door bolts to make it easier to mount. In the next step, you will need both of your U-bolts to mount it on the pole. Mount the enclosure just under the solar panel which will provide shade to help keep the enclosure cool. Make sure the door clears the bottom of the solar panel when open. Insert the U-bolt through the holes on the mounting hardware. Tighten the nuts down, then install the second U-bolt. Reopen the enclosure for the next step. Insert solar panel cable through the feed through and tighten the feed through. Make sure to leave a drip loop. Insert the positive and negative wires into the solar section on the charge controller. Observe polarity. Tighten down the screws on the charge controller to ensure wires are in place. At this point you can attach your equipment. Close the enclosure and tighten down all four bolts to ensure no water gets inside the enclosure.